he's playing Albion with the game controller, it is actually pretty hard to press tech on mobile phone. Type it in comment section below. Welcome guys on my channel and today I'm gonna show you my first experience on mobile phone. This one, Redmi 8 Pro. Specs will be right here. And let's start. Okay, so our first fight, we are using classic combo with Mage Rope, Hunter Hood, Iron Wheel, Keeper Cape and Poison Potion. It is classic uh, combo that I was using, it is pretty successful. So as you can see, it is Black Hand user, soon he will use his Hellion. Yeah, I am using Hunter Hood, Iron Wheel combo and this is saving our stacks, saving our S, our Keeper Cape is active. Active and we are using poison potion. Unfortunately, in this moment, I used my poison potion a bit uh, late, but anyway, we managed to kill him. And yeah, again, 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 tiny spoiler it will be um, one more black hand user. Unfortunately, I was fighting only them, almost only them. Again, the same combo as you can see, pretty high damage, and one more. Easy, easy kill. Don't worry, later will be fails, so... <clears throat> Wait a bit. And one more Black Hand user. The same tactic. Literally the same tactic. You need to be careful, so you would not activate accidentally his Cleric Rope. And by the way, later we will talk about other builds, other weapons that are viable for mobile gaming. This moment, actually, I get used to play a bit uh, with this claimer. It is actually pretty hard to press tech on mobile phone. Right here was super ideal scenario where I could get three stacks almost at the start of the fight. And soon you will see scenarios where it is pretty hard to play on mobile phones. Oh, this moment, yeah, I remember. During this fight, I got a hard, hard block. See, this freezes. It is literally, my phone was lagging. Again, specs on my phone are low, are super low. Maybe because of this, and probably because of this. And on top of that, um, I was recording my gameplay, so don't forget about it. This one. So, as you can see, I got three stacks. And... It was my main mistake. There is a one black hand user again, and I played very greedy and decided to use my E spell immediately. And that's why that happened and I died. I should make my combo as I was doing it before, but my greed killed me. It is one more example of how Albion could lock on mobile phones. As you can see, I am fighting a bow, and now. Bumps freezes again, again, again. Game freeze. I don't know why. Probably again. It is because that I am using a weak phone. I making one more mistake with cleric rope and dying, of course. Okay, guys. I I paused this moment for a second. It will be a perfect example right now why you need to clear all mobs uh, in corrupt dungeons around you when you want to participate in a fight. And on top of that, um, there will be a reason why you should not use AOE Q abilities or other non-target abilities uh, near mobs. Look. And you will see this auto aim. How does it work on Q spells? regarding crossbows so one-handed crossbow i'm casting silence and enemy even if he's in front of me <laughs> i'm targeting a mob anyway i started pretty successfully i hit it only two cues at the start of the fight and that's all look one more cue miss again when he was not using any movement spell abilities It is a super unlucky fight for me, but take a look on Q. Q spells. Again, miss. Again, it was a miss. Enemy was literally in front of me. He just made one step in front of my direction, and that's all. And I miss. Perfect example with Dead Givers. Yeah, I panicked. I pressed my buttons incorrectly. I used my two defensives at the same time. But take a look on these cues. It is auto aim. It is auto aim cues. 
Again. Again, again, and again. Again, I miss. He is not using any movement spell abilities. He is not. So, most of my damage <laughs> was just E, Hunter Hood, and Poison Potion. Okay, guys, and this was my first PvP experience in Albion on mobile phones. And I want to say that I was experiencing the same emotions from PvP like I was playing Albion for the first time. I actually did not expect. For the first time when I locked into Corrupted Dungeon, when I saw my first enemy, I was so nervous. I could not press my buttons correctly. I was misclicking, etc. Yeah, you need to get used to these controls on mobile phones. Yeah, definitely you need to get used to it. I think uh, for people who was always playing um, different games on mobile, uh, it would not be an issue. But for me, for a PC gamer, it was some sort of challenge. And super fun challenge. Again, I want to remind you guys that I was playing on this Redmi 8 Pro phone and it is super weak. I think if you would play on high-end phones, Android or um, iPhones, latest iPhones, you will not experience any problems while you will play Albion. You will not. I heard even stories when people were playing ZVZs on these phones. And op optimization in general was pretty decent. If we compare Albion mobile version of the game that was two years ago and now, difference is huge. What builds are efficient in PvP? In my opinion, Claymore Broadswood is perfect weapon, melee weapon for mobile gaming. Also, if you want to play crossbow in PvP, don't make such mistakes as I did. As you can see, this AoE Q spell auto-targeting, even if it is auto-targeting AoE Q spell, it is not working properly in PvP. But in PvE scenario, it rocks. It really rocks and uh, farming solo dungeons and just clearing mobs with this AoE Q spell is awesome, but not in PvP. In PvP, I suggest you to take this single Q spell ability. Again, it is my experience and I'm suggesting from my own perspective. About other weapons, I think Curse Staff, regular bows will be awesome choice too. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this <laughs> video, my first experience. Later I will try to make more of such videos, more footage, more PvP, maybe even in open world, we will see how it goes. You know what? I was even thinking about uh, buying a better phone just for content creation. And also I got a plan, I don't know, will it work or not, to buy a game controller like Xbox that is uh, connecting to your mm, mobile phone. So it would be much easier even to play Albion. I think it would be the best way to go. I don't know, will it work properly or it will not? Guys, if there are some people who is playing Albion with game controller, please type in comments and uh, tell us your feedback. What do you think about it? Is it viable or not? I would be really, really appreciated. And on top of that, if you are a mobile phone player, type it in the comment section below. Let's see how much mobile player phones we have in Albion. If you want to try Albion on mobile phones on Android version, you need to go on the official website, click download, and then choose Android APK file. Then you will be able to download the game on your phone, install all updates, and you are ready to go. Guys, with iOS, if you got iPhones, it is a bit more complicated. Again, game is not officially released on phones, not on Android, not on iPhone. So for iOS, you need to go on the forum, um, Albion Online Community, mobile version, click on this thread, and try to contact uh, Mercur on or type um, that you want to get an invite. In this case, probably you will be able to play iOS. If you know, guys, some, if someone is playing on iPhones Albion, please type in comment section below how to get this invite. I would be really, really appreciate. All the links will be in the comment section below and in description of this video. 
and that's all guys hope this video was useful now you maybe you will try to play albion on phone i guarantee you guys it is very challenging experience super challenging and uh, if you got uh, okay phone try it you will not regret you will not okay guys stay safe and bye